Got to say, this shocked me when I saw this. I did not know the woman who gave Selena Gomez her kidney, mm -hmm. apparently they are not friends anymore. In fact, it is the opposite of friendship, it seems. Yeah, um, in fact, uh, Francia, Francia Raisa, doesn't even want to talk about Selena Gomez anymore. That's how bad the rift has gotten between them. Um, In a way, Francia saved Selena's life. Absolutely. And by the way, Selena acknowledged that repeatedly, profusely, only, profusely for a long time. But then something happened in an interview that clearly has ticked off Francia because I'm going to beg to differ is... with you, but I'll wait. Okay. All right. Well, here's what happened. Uh, Francia was out in the valley over the weekend, um, and someone attempted to ask her if she was going to patch things up with Selena. Here's what she said. How's everything going with uh, you and Selena? I know you and followed her. You still don't follow her. Are, are things good with you with you guys? Sunday is so hot. Francia, looking at the window. Do you guys still talk? Um, it's a good day, isn't it? It's so pretty out now. I, I know, so isn't it? Last week. Uh huh. Now, do you guys talk at all? Uh, Would you? Are you? Are you willing to follow her back? Will you follow her back eventually? What kind of tree do you think this is? This is pretty hot. Probably avocado? No. <laughs> would you do it again now with all the circumstances going on? I would definitely speak to someone again about organ donation yeah. and the process. The other day at the movies, I was with my friend Lily, and someone yeah. came up to me and said, hey, my friend is the one that you spoke to a few years back about her kidney donation. Yeah. She's really grateful. And I said, what's she doing? She said, well. And I said, great. And now, okay. for all of that, is worth it. So, you know, the sun was shining, but it was Damn shady. Actually. It was shady. <laughs> By the way, Francia, this is just my opinion, Francia wanted to talk about what she talked about. Because she wanted to throw shade. She knew she wasn't going, yes. I know she was saying. fully engaged. This is mm -hmm. in the San Fernando Valley. You say the valley like the, everybody in the world knows. You're right. San Fernando San Valley. Fernando. But well, she's walking. everybody knows what that means. She's walking you want to describe where the San Fernando Valley is? <laughs> she's walking on a random street, and all of a sudden, uh, this photographer shows up, and she is fully engaged. But I, 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 I got to say. It's given setup vibes. She is she does not like Selena Gomez I'm and wanted honestly, to convey that. You know, normally I'm all here for like the girls making up, but I'm here for the strategizing around the shade only because for what their relationship was, even before she donated the kidney to Selena, they were friends. Like people knew they were friends. They've been friends for so long. They were child stars together. So for Selena to do this interview but back in November so explain, and say, Lauren, what, okay, yeah, so what let happened? me explain. So basically Selena did an interview back in November and she was asked about who she's close to in Hollywood. And she says the only person in Hollywood with that she's close to is Taylor Swift. So then <laughs> Francia goes and she comments, hmm, interesting, because first of all, they were friends prior to the, the you know, the kidney story, but everybody knows that story and how she saved right. Selena Gomez's life. So it's like, it's kind of like, how so could you not so mention minute, her? You said she uh, that Francia responded to that by saying, hmm. She posted, she, a, she, she posted, she posted a comment in, in response saying, like, hmm, interesting. Like, basically, like, girl, come on now. Like, and, and to me, you I feel around like. You my kidney, girl. Come exactly. <laughs> and also, too, it's like, it's the grab. It's like, okay, so now you're Selena and, like, you're huge. So Taylor Swift has to be your only friend in Hollywood. And it's like, no, we were, we, we were friends, obviously, because she's Back upset. When they were, before they were famous, when they exactly, were just child actors. Exactly, exactly. Right. So then from there, um, you know, Selena Gomez had to come out and say, oh, I'm sorry that I didn't, you know, name every single person I'm friends with in Hollywood. She then tried to double down back in March or, or backtrack back in March and say, oh, well, you know, I'm, I'm forever indebted to her. I owe, basically, like, I owe my life to her. But it's kind of like one of those things where it's like, yeah, when you're a celebrity that like moment. that, yeah, when you're a celebrity like that, you got to be careful with your words, especially when people, like, but care I, well, about you sorry. beyond it, being a celebrity. Here's where I disagree with you guys on this, what, what I was mentioning mm -hmm. earlier. I think whatever happened here predates Selena saying my only friend is Taylor Swift. Right. I think Selena said that consciously. I don't think this whole thing is about that comment. I think something happened before that comment that made Selena say what she said, knowing that it shades Francia. But then, but then oh, but Francia wouldn't say interesting because and, and interesting Selena sounds and, like, I get like it. she was shocked. to her that we're, that we're exactly. not friends. And why or, was or Selena trying to clean it up? Or it's an underscore, or it's an underscore. That there's, it, it's like, it's, it doesn't make mm. sense to me. Why would Selena say that if she had no beef with the woman who saved her life? I think this is not just about that comment. I think something happened to them before that 
created this kind of tension. I don't know. I mean, I you don't have, know. You have all kinds of conspiracy theories. And, and we're gonna get theory. to another one of them later. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> I'm Russell, I'm from New York. I'm sure Francia realizes that by dodging the questions as obviously as she did in that video, she was giving us all the answers we needed about their relationship. Uh, unfollowing on social media, comments in the interviews, that just hammers the point home, really. Um, obviously, I've never given an organ to somebody, but I imagine that complicates the dynamics in, in a friendship a little bit. Um, so, you know, I can't really speak to that, but it was good to see at the end of that interview um, her speaking out in favor of organ donation and ha having somebody uh, in the public light uh, with a platform who has gone through it, um, speaking positively about it, I, I think that was really good. By the way, just think about this. When someone, if, just think how annoyed you are if someone owes you like 20 bucks and you see them all <laughs> right. out spending <laughs> right. money and right. blah, blah, blah. They're you're like, vacation, um, right. did you not? Yeah, yeah so imagine if it's a kid. I get you.